In this video, we are going to discuss a couple of different modes inside of Civil Acudraw, one being the station offset, and then the other one is the station offset unlinked. Now, for this particular example, we're going to place an inlet using the drainage tools, but you could utilize that in any of the drainage tools along with the civil tools that are out there for placing elements inside of your drawing. And then from there, once you've seen both these examples, then you can see the pros and cons of using whichever mode or depend on what situation that you got, then you would determine which one that you'd want to utilize and the benefits or like I said, the pros and cons with each one of those. So on this one here, for our example, what we have is the center line. And then this line right here, we're just going to represent this as the edge of curb whenever we place in our inlet. So for our first example here, I'm going to go down here and make sure Civil Acadraw is toggled on, which it is. And then I'm going to go to this option right here for station offset. Go to my place node. And I'm going to place a 2x2 two two inlet out there. And I'm going to hard code the elevation at 100 simply because I don't have a final terrain model that I can tag to or I don't have a linear element that has a profile assigned to it this particular element does not have that so for this example here I'm just going to use the elevation of 100 so then I just go through here and follow the prompts select reference element for node elevation I'm going to reset that because I have mine set to 100 for my elevation for this example then I will tab to my offset field, hit the letter O, and I'm going to go ahead and select my center line. And then let's say I want to put it at station 100. So I will hit my tab key and go to the station. And you'll notice as I'm moving along here, you'll see your stationing is going to go up and down. And for this example here, I'm going to put it at station 100. So I'll type in 100 or 1 plus 0, 0. Tab to lock that in and you'll see that it's placing it at this particular location and then for my offset it's going to be 20 feet because from here to there for this example it's 20 feet so I'll go ahead and put in 20 for that tab to lock that in and you'll see it's being placed I'll go ahead and left click to accept that now it's gonna say select rotation mode do you want an absolute which I've hit my down arrow you can do an absolute where you actually type in whatever rotation that you want or you can be relative to alignment and that's what I'm going to do for this example so I will select that mode left click now we will locate the reference element for the rotation well for this example here I probably want it to be rotated to go along this edge of curb right here so I will select that versus my center line and then from there what rotation do you want and this is the correct rotation for it so I could simply left click to accept it or if it's incorrect normally it's going to be perpendicular from that curb so I'll hit 0 and that is correct if for some reason it is incorrect if I hit tab and I type in 180 which would probably be for the other side you'll see that it'll flip flop so just make sure you got your rotation set correctly and then once you have that left click to accept it and now you'll see that that inlet is placed. So if I hit F4 to clear it out, you see that inlet is placed using the station offset field from this center line. Now for our next one, we'll go ahead and do the exact same steps of placing that inlet, but we will place it over here. But for this one here, we're going to use this option right here in your civil act draw, and we're going to use the option that says station offset unlinked. And you'll kind of see the difference between the two. So I'll make sure it's selected go to the place node exact same parameters as before so I'll go ahead and right click to accept that elevation of 100 and then what we will do is tab to the station field hit the letter O and we're going to select the center line because we're going to base it off our stationing off our alignment make sure you tab back up to that field that way you can type it in correctly and we will go ahead and put in the same station of either 1 plus 0 0 or 100 tab to lock that you'll see it's being based off that center line but now what we're going to do is in our offset field go ahead and hit the letter O again and this time we're going to select this curb line for our offset option that way it's based 
for the offset portion of it, it's based off of this curb line right here versus the center line. So I'll go ahead and select that. And now you determine what offset that you want from that curb line. So this one here, normally it's probably going to be zero. So I will tab to that particular field, hit zero, tab to lock it in. And now you'll see it's locked at that spot here. So basically what we're doing here is for our stationing, it's based off the alignment, but for the offset, it's based off of this curb line right here or whichever element that you define. So once you have those parameters set, go ahead and left click to accept it. Same rotation mode, do you want to be relative to the alignment, which we will go ahead and do, so we'll left click that. We'll go ahead and base it off this curb line right here for the rotation of it. Now you determine what rotation that you want for it. And we're going to go ahead and leave it set to where it's at. So we'll left click to accept it. And then we can go ahead and right click to reset it. So we can close that out. I'll go ahead and hit F4 to clear that out. So just by visually seeing both of these, they look like they're in the exact same spot based off the alignment. But if you come in here and you select this one here, you'll see that it has a 20 foot offset and it's at station one plus zero zero. But if you come over here to this one here and you select it, it's at station one plus zero zero, but the offset is zero because you based it off of that curb line right here. Now the benefit for using the station offset unlinked for this particular example is let's say I need to move that inlet. Maybe it's in the incorrect spot. Maybe I need to move it down below here along this taper. Well if I come in here and I go to the one where I based it only off of the center line and I come in here and I select that and let's say I need it at station 1 plus 75. So I'll select that field. I'll type in 175. I'll left click to accept it. And now you will see that it did move to station 1 plus 75. But the offset is still at 20 because you based it off of that center line right here. So now you'd have to come in here and try to figure out what that distance is to that curb line and then put in that distance. Now if you did it the other way where you did the unlinked where you're basing it off of the stationing for the center line but basing the offset off that curb line or whichever linear element that you have if you come in here and you select that let's say I need that inlet at 1 plus 75 so I will select it I'll select that field and I'll type in 175 I'll left click to accept it and now you'll notice that that inlet is right at that spot right there and it is at station 1 plus 75 and the offset is still zero because you based it off of that curb line for the offset. So that's kind of the difference between the two in Civil Acdraw if you're basing something off of the station offset option or the station offset unlinked option whenever you place those elements. So depending on which situation that you have, you would determine which mode that you would use and which one would benefit you as you're placing not only drainage elements, but also civil elements and maybe some microstation elements that are in your particular file.